I call the member for New England. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Uh, Fenika and Topeka, obviously these people will go down in Australian history as, as topical. It is really an extension on an issue that's been with us for a while, and that is uh, the identification of where your, where your state is, where you're a resident of. And it goes through uh, two processes, jus soli, which is of the soil, or jus um, uh, sanguinis, which is of the blood. Now, we um, in Australia work with the of the blood proposition, but this causes problems, and it's probably why in the uh, Dred Scott Act, which was brought in 1857, it was repealed by the 14th Amendment in, in 1867. The reason being is they believe that Dred Scott was basically not a person and therefore could be just moved, moved around the United States. What we have to make sure is that these people, these two girls, are not just seen as an item, as chattel that can be moved around, that they actually have rights. They have rights that are present uh, by reason that of, I believe, Jules Soli, that they were born in Australia. They were born here. There is no other nation on earth that they were born in. And I believe the extension of the rights of the individual um, has been a consistent theme of mine since I've been here. I believe in the rights both after a person is born as indissoluble and inviolate and before. And I will continue to fight to make sure that these people are treated justly.